Hi everyone, welcome to this short tutorial with me, Tim Clapham from Lux, and this tutorial is going to show you an easy way to create scripts within Cinema 4D. Now you're probably all thinking, oh dear scripts, I don't want to be involved in any coding whatsoever. Well don't worry, uh, you won't have to write a single piece of code. Cinema 4D is just going to create that for us. And I'm going to show you a really basic script and show you how you can integrate that into your interface in a matter of seconds. And this just really shows you how good the workflow is within this application. And it's probably something that a lot of you are not aware that you can do. Um, so in this scene here, I have um, a torus object. And if we select that, you can see in the attribute manager, we are currently on the coordinate manager and um, everything is set to zero and our scale is all set to one. I'm not sure about you, but I often wish that there was just a button here that I could click that would reset all of these values back. I don't know how many times I tab between them and maybe make a mistake and have to go back. Um, my tabbing and zeroing is getting pretty good. But we can actually write a script that will just do that for us and we can then make a button that will sit in our interface. It's very easy to do. So let me just give you an example of how you might do this. First of all, let's just click on the P for position, hold down shift and come over and click on the B for rotation bank. And you can see that that then highlights all of our parameters for our coordinates. Next thing we can do is we can just right click on here and we can come down and you can see that we have this option create script. And this is a magical little option that we can use on lots of things and it will allow us to um, create scripts and it will allow us to uh, easily create the commands that we can copy and paste and we can build quite complex scripts doing this. It's not really a macro creator but it works pretty well and you can see by clicking on that it's opened up the script manager and it's put all of this information in here for me. Now I don't know about you but I wouldn't have a chance if I was actually writing this out longhand. It's called this script2 so let's call this a uh, zero everything in coordinates or something maybe a little bit more catchy. Next thing we can do is we can say, all right, well, I want to render my current image and use that as the icon. At the moment, we've got this generic max on icon. Let's click render icon. And you can see it then uses uh, whatever we have in our viewport as the icon. We can also then just take this button and we can drag it and drop it into our interface like so. And you can see now I've got that button as an icon in my interface. Every time I click that button, it's going to execute this script. If you want to change the script as you're writing it and test it, then you can use the execute button down here in the bottom right of the script manager. Once you're happy with it, you can then click save all and it will be saved into your scripts, which you can access through plugins, user scripts. And you can see there's quite a few in here. And there's mine, zero everything in coordinates. So let's just check that this works. Let's close our script manager down, select our torus. Let's switch to the object tool, scale this down, let's rotate this around, let's move it somewhere, and let's click our button. And there you go. And you can see that everything went back as it should. With just three, maybe four clicks, we've managed to select our coordinates, we've created a script from it, we've rendered the icon, we've dropped that into our layout. All we need to do now is to save that layout and that command is there for us to use whenever. And you can use this command by right clicking on most parameters and choose create script and from that you can create some really complex scripts nice and easily you don't even need to worry about typing the code yourself and after a while you begin to learn how the code works and you'll be able to modify them and really customize your scripting so it's a pretty useful feature I hope you enjoyed that quick tip from me, Tim Clapham from Lux. And if you want to uh, see any further tips and tricks that I offer, then you can head on over to my blog, which is hellolux.com, which you can see here in Firefox. And I offer plenty of Cinema 4D tips and tricks and downloads as well, as you can see. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the training that I offer, you can click on this icon here, or you can head on over to motionworks.com dot au and purchase making it look great six or making it look great seven which is some very comprehensive professional training um, that i offer for download there well, i hope you enjoyed that short tip on using cinema 4d and don't forget as i say to check back to the hello lux blog um, where there'll be plenty of more updates in the future thanks very much for watching